Hi friends! Today Squeak and I are going to read Lucy's Picture by Nicola Moon. These are lots of pictures that people have made. My grandpa's coming to visit today, said Lucy. How nice, said Mrs. Kelly. Now take a seat, because we're all going to do some painting. Can I do a picture for my grandpa? Lucy asked. Of course you may, said Mrs. Kelly. Lucy looked at the big sheet of white paper in front of her. Hmm. Can you see how Lucy's feeling about that? What do you think? She doesn't look excited to me. What do you think she's thinking? Let's find out. Can't think of what to paint, Lucy? Asked Mrs. Kelly. What would your grandpa like? Something nice and bright? Look at all those lovely colors. Lucy looked at the red and yellow and the sky blue paints. Hmm. They're not right, she said. May I use the glue? May I stick things on to make a picture? You mean like a collage? Of course, but you'll have to work at the other table. There's not quite enough room here. Lucy took her paper to an empty table in the corner. She went and found a bottle of glue, some scissors, and the box of scraps. Lucy loved Mrs. Kelly's box of scraps. She liked plunging her hands deep in the box and feeling with her eyes shut. How do you think she's gonna make a picture out of things that she's not looking at? Lucy started her picture. She cut some soft green velvet into curly mounds for hills and stuck them on the paper. She made a lake out of blue shiny stuff and put it in between the hills. Then she found some flowery dress material. Grandpa has flowers like this in his garden, Lucy told Mrs. Kelly. Lucy cut around the flowers and stuck them in little clumps along the edge of the lake. At recess, Lucy was too busy to play. Instead, she collected twigs, leaves, and two small feathers. Then she filled her empty juice cup with sand from the sandbox. At last, it was time to go inside. What is Lucy collecting and why? What do you think she's gonna do with those things she's collected? Maybe. Now Lucy was even more excited about Grandpa's picture. She made him a tree out of the twigs and leaves and stuck the feathers on the end of a branch. Then she squeezed a long winding ribbon of glue over the hills and sprinkled sand over the glue to make a path. Oh, what a clever idea. She collected materials to add to her picture. My grandpa's got a dog, Lucy told Mrs. Kelly. She's called Honey because that's what color she is. When Mrs. Kelly wasn't looking, Lucy trimmed a piece of her own hair and glued it to a dog she had found that she had made from a piece of paper. <gasps> do you think Lucy should do that, cut her hair? No, she probably shouldn't have. She probably should have asked, right? Yeah. I wonder what she's thinking though. She glued her hair to a dog, a real dog. And no, probably just a picture of a dog, huh? That's lovely, Lucy, said Mrs. Kelly, when it was story time. She put Lucy's picture safely on the side to dry along with all the paintings. 
Lucy couldn't wait to go home. She hadn't seen Grandpa in a really long time. There's her picture drying. Her mother was waiting as usual, but today there was someone with her. Can you tell who's with her mom? Her grandpa. And who's with her grandpa? Can you tell? The dog. Do you know what this is? Let's find out if it tells us. Grandpa, cried Lucy. She nearly knocked him off his feet. I made you a picture, Grandpa, look. Lucy grabbed her blind grandfather's hand and guided it over her picture. These are the hills and here's the road. Grandpa touched the picture carefully. A tree. A bird. And what's this? It feels like your hair, Lucy. That's honey, your dog, said Lucy, smiling. How clever. And what a wonderful surprise. It's the best picture I've ever seen, Grandpa said. Is he using his eyes to see it? What's he using to see the picture? Because he's blind. He doesn't see. He's using his hands. That's why Lucy made it out of all different things with different textures. There's the picture of Honey the dog with Lucy's hair on it. And hand in hand, Grandpa and Lucy and her mother walked home. So this is a harness. This is for a seeing eye dog. This dog is a guide dog. It helps grandpa see. And when a dog has one of these on it, you know that it's working. It's a working dog. And so you don't want to go up and pet it because it's working. You can ask the owner if you want to pet the dog and they can say yes or no, but that tells us that's a working dog. That's a seeing eye dog. How cool. Let's go make a picture. <laughs>